we, our presentation was very much focused on a case, um, a project we released one and a half years ago called Satellite Remix, and it was all about um, having ha having creatives engage with audiovisual heritage, uh, digitized materials, uh, so to make new uh, works, creative works. To take a good look at the things that already were. Uh, were done, like Satellite Remix as one of the examples. Also in France, uh, there was an, there's, there's a good example. So take a good look at what, what happened, what were the learnings of those uh, uh, already done projects. And um, also very important is what do you offer to the people who, want, who you want to engage with? Um, is it just like, if, if you just have awards uh, or prize money or anything that might or not might not be sufficient to have them really engage in your in your project. What we learned was that uh, the, the fact that we offered the stage uh, to have have the uh, making screened at a Dutch film festival in a cinema was very big big time for these people. As a head of communications, I would like to talk more about the project, if the Image for the Future project itself, because it's it's a big con it's a big context for uh, this project, which is not. Um, which doesn't exist on itself. It's it's part of our um, tactic, if you like, to to engage people with their heritage, uh, artificial materials from different archives, uh, which go a long way uh, uh, in in in, in um, yeah talking about history or talking about their culture or um, just being nice source materials for doing remixes or uh, all the kinds of things. So and there's so many more things I can I can I can uh, talk about talking about image for the future that yeah that's just time is limited so go to the website imageforthefuture.org or buildenforthetoekomst.nl but uh, for the the English audience or the non-native Dutch speakers that will be um, imageforthefuture.org.